The countdown is on. In exactly two months, the United States will witness a unique celestial event, a total solar eclipse. Now, while a total eclipse isn't that unusual, this one is rare. Meteorologist Lauren Casey is in the Einstein Healthcare Science Center to explain what makes this total eclipse stand out from all the rest. That's right. In late August, Americans will witness the first total solar eclipse to cross the continent in a century. And NASA is planning to closely study the event. Today, scientists shared some of the details. It's a cosmic show usually glimpsed from space, but soon the best view will be on American soil of the first total solar eclipse to cross the U.S. in decades. This is a 99-year event. It's been 99 years since a total solar eclipse across the entire U.S. from the west coast to the east coast. On August 21st, the moon will pass between the sun and the earth. Its shadow will race across the country at an average speed of about 1,500 miles an hour, covering a swath roughly 70 miles wide from Oregon to South Carolina. The sky will darken and temperatures will drop as much as 25 degrees. These cosmic moments when nature speaks to us in an emotional way sometimes come loud, like thunderstorms, storms, uh, like hurricanes, earthquakes, but this one will be silent. Looking skyward, spectators will have a chance to view the sun's lower corona. That area expels electromagnetic energy and matter into the solar system, which can have a real-world impact here on Earth. It messes with um, GPS, with communication systems, even power grids. It can also mess with your eyes. The sun is way too bright for your eyes. Do enjoy it. But be safe. The best way to enjoy the spectacle is with special viewing glasses. NASA is warning the public not to let the light show eclipse your safety. Our region isn't in the path of the total eclipse, but we will get to see a partial solar eclipse. In the Einstein Healthcare Science Center, I'm meteorologist Lauren Casey.